Well, you've probably seen them. Perhaps you've already been bitten by one. Bugs, they're already out in full force. Pest specialists tell Fox 4 a mild winter has resulted in a harsh influx of insects before spring. Fox 4's Selena Hernandez spent the day with a bug buster, and she joins us from the newsroom with more. Selena? Well, Brandon, I'll tell you what. A can of bug spray will likely be your best friend this spring and summer because if you think the bugs are bad now, well, we're sorry to say it's just the beginning. No freezing weather. We had nothing going on this year that's going to stop, stop any of the insects. Pest specialist Steve Florsham is already in attack mode. Armed with his insecticide, he's battling bugs that are popping up early around North Texas. Depending on the climate in Texas, it depends on the amount of active infestations that we have. Right now, we currently are getting a bunch of ant calls. Steve says calls have doubled from this time last year. And it's not just ants. Ticks, fleas, and mosquitoes are also quickly populating our area, all the result of a mild winter. The weather in, in Texas has been so conducive to let all these bugs just flourish. And right now, it's continuing to be just a real big issue. And we're just at the beginning of what's going on. I don't do bugs. Lana Sosby is waiting her own war. Ants have invaded her North Dallas home. I've had ants um, three or four different times we've tried to to get these guys and and I am extremely OCD clean and they they are arriving at wet be it dry or wet or whatever they're here. She's working to rid her home of the unwelcome pests. When I opened the uh, trash can this morning again they were flooding all throughout. Knowing it'll probably get worse when spring and summer roll around. You know, I'm waiting for uh, for mosquitoes to, to come down and, and with weapons. You know, it's, it's just extremely early for everything. It's just going to get worse from here, so the best thing to do is get started with some sort of a service, either on your own or have somebody like us do it. And Steve tells us if you battle bugs on your own, you want to make sure that you follow the directions carefully. You don't want to harm your plants or your pets. In the newsroom, Selena Hernandez, Fox 4 News.